Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. In Texas and Louisiana, at least 30 people have died. More than 17,000 people are in shelters. Hundreds of thousands are under evacuation orders. And all past U.S. rainfall records have been shattered. As Tropical Storm Harvey continues to wreak climate chaos in Houston, the fourth largest city in the United States. Around 4 a.m. this morning, Harvey made landfall for a second time just west of Cameron, Louisiana. In Texas, a third of Harris County, which encompasses Houston, is currently underwater. Houston officials have imposed a mandatory curfew between midnight and 5 a.m. ExxonMobil says Harvey has damaged at least two of its refineries, causing thousands of pounds of chemicals to be released into the air. Residents in Crosby, Texas, are being evacuated amidst concerns a chemical factory damaged by Harvey could explode. On Tuesday, the World Meteorological Organization spokesperson Claire Nellis explained how Harvey's devastation is linked to climate change. What I think we can say is that the fact that we do have climate change, uh, our atmosphere is warmer, it contains more moisture, it means that when we do have a hurricane, a tropical cyclone like this, then the, um, when an event does occur, then, you know, climate change does very likely increase the associated rainfall. But climate change, per se, does not cause tropical cyclones. This is the third 500-year flood to hit Houston in the last three years. By the time it's finally over, the storm may be categorized as a once-in-a-thousand-year flood. Thousands of National Guardsmen have been mobilized to rescue stranded residents. Mexico has also offered to assist in the disaster response. Deadly extreme weather fueled by climate change also continues worldwide. In Mumbai, India, at least six people, including two toddlers, died in flash flooding caused by torrential downpours Tuesday. Meteorologists are warning the rain will continue in Mumbai for at least the next 24 hours. Downpours also inundated parts of Istanbul, Turkey, Tuesday, turning major streets into raging rivers.